Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. We continue to see this sideways consolidation. Not much surprise because it's weekend. Talked about it in the previous video. I did show you a possible triangle pattern on the chart, but also highlighted to you that um, it doesn't necessarily mean that this triangle needs to break out. They can always extend. Um, yeah, because obviously it's only Saturday today. Typically throughout Saturday, you continue to see that consolidation. And <clears throat> we talked about that as long as Ethereum is holding above 1994, the direct path can continue um, upside, yeah, upwards. So it could be that we're now doing here a deeper way four. Absolutely possible. Shared with you two options earlier today, both bullish um, with regards to Okay, you know, we've got here either a possible way four as a triangle, A, B, C, D, and we might now see this E wave before we actually break out to the upside. As long as we stay now above the 2074 level, a direct breakout to the upside of this triangle pattern is possible. So even though it doesn't look that much like a triangle anymore it could be like that right and then we could do a breakout to the upside so be ready if it happens it probably will happen now but i also wouldn't be surprised to see a bit of a retest a bit of a lower wave four um because it's a question of how you actually label this it could also be that the wave four is a typical abc structure a b c <clears throat> and that the um that the b wave is actually the triangle that's possible as well so from that point of view we don't really have an edge here, A, B, C, D, and then maybe one more high in an E wave and with a breakdown. Again, that's why I highlighted earlier with you or earlier to you that it doesn't really make so much sense to try to label um, every sub wave of a correction in detail because they can morph into different structures very, very easily. What is more important is to understand what is the key threshold point, what's the pivot point below or above which probabilities change <clears throat> so at the moment here, it is the 1994 level. As long as we're holding that, I would say we can get that fifth wave to the upside into the, meh, let's say, high $2,800, uh, into the high $2,200 region within the fifth wave of a third wave. Then there should be a fourth wave and a fifth wave, and it could cascade higher like that eventually, okay? And I wouldn't be surprised about a $3,000 ETH price in the coming weeks well, all months. Um, <clears throat> however, I would always encourage to you as well to think about what um, <laughs> what could kill us, okay? So um, if you haven't watched the last Bitcoin video, I would encourage you to do that because I talked about a possible bearish scenario on the Bitcoin chart. Now, generally the Ethereum chart looks more bullish than the Bitcoin chart overall, medium term, <clears throat> yeah? Because we didn't make, on the Ethereum chart, we didn't make a new low in November. So it's already possibly further ahead in terms of the wave count than Bitcoin. Yeah, more bullish. So we just need to be, we just need to be ready um, that um, still we could get deeper pullbacks. Okay, and a break below that 1994 level would be a warning. I just want to encourage to you. <clears throat> I just want to encourage that you don't, yeah, disregard all the bearish options, right? And that's why I need to bring them up from time to time. So let's actually take a look at that here on the Ethereum chart. Um, I don't, it's nothing I expect. Yeah, and at the moment I am pretty much focused here on further upside. But again, what could happen, let's look at the daily chart. That's what could happen. Need to update the timestamp as well. Um, it could be, and that's similar to Bitcoin, right? It could be that we moved, the, so the move of the all-time high was basically just an A wave. We're now doing a B wave and that could be an A, B, C structure. So after this green third wave, yeah, which could be a C wave in the bearish version, we could come down in a five wave move and basically make a new low. That's possible. So be aware of that. But I don't see that coming at the moment and I don't, well, I, no, I don't want to say I don't see it coming because we need to talk about that. We need to consider it, but I don't see that at the moment as my primary scenario. And I don't consider it really in too much detail as long as we're holding the relevant support area. So at any stage, I will always try to give you my best assessment for, you know, 
what is the relevant support level that we need to hold to guarantee further upside. Well, nothing is guaranteed, but to ensure or to have a high probability continuation into the trend direction. But if that level breaks, you know, what is the next most likely scenario? So at the moment, I don't see the 1994 level break. But if it does, and it could do, then I will, of course, highlight to you the next likely scenario. But first of all, there will be other support levels along the way that we can use, you know. Um, but the thing is, because we are moving higher here quite impulsively, ideally, we do not want to see a break below 1994. If we do, then we have a fallback probably into this region all the way down to 1800. Below that, we then need to open ourselves up to um, possible bearish scenarios. But for now, we remain focused on higher. It's a pretty bullish setup there. And I do expect at the moment trend continuation, but we always need to be ready. Yeah, it's a very, very choppy market at the moment. Ethereum doing really well, Bitcoin, okay. But a lot of the altcoins aren't, you know, and that's sort of why I'm a bit cautious at the moment, because we should by now really have seen some of the altcoins really go crazy and they haven't done that yet. So I'm just a bit cautious. I start to get a bit cautious while I reviewed all the charts today. So, um, but it's, it's nothing. I don't want to scare anyone. You know, we continue to be focused on the upside for now. All right. That's my update about Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.